Hi you guys, this is Nina, and you are listening to Love and Other Problems Podcast. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Twitter, at Love Radio 44132. If you would like to follow my podcast, it is on anchor.fm forward slash Rosie88. And to make a donation on Cash App, my tag is money symbol Nina 44132. Tonight I want to actually tackle a different topic. Um, I'm watching a democratic debate. I'm trying to find more information about these candidates. And I am actually going to say that um, I wasn't really happy with this last Democratic debate right before the Iowa caucuses. I'm trying to become more familiar with the candidates and their platforms and all these different things. And this is actually a more serious topic than what I usually cover, which is basically celebrity news love and relationships but I just feel like this is really bothering me that um, these debates really don't talk about what real people are actually talking about and this is no offense to anyone that supports any one candidate quite frankly at this point I just feel like an independent voter floating off into space because I cannot connect to any party, any platform, or anything. But I'm just going to speak truths on what I saw and how I feel about what I heard and everything going on right now, which I feel to be very sad in our American politics. So here we go. And like I said, this is not to alienate any fans. I love to hear everybody's opinion because, quite frankly, everyone should speak freely and openly. I don't block people because you have a different view. But I definitely want to hear from you. So, here we go. I have a thousand problems wrong with everything going on right now. And... When the debate came on, I had high hopes that they would actually hone in on personal issues that a normal person, normal person like myself that lives paycheck to paycheck, that finds being able to travel a luxury, going out to dinner a luxury, Basically, you know, a luxury item for me really is going to see a movie. Like, I have not been to the movie since the Avengers Endgame came out. I could, I didn't have any money. Now, on terms of what I feel should have been addressed better is safety. Um, violence, I feel that violence and safety is a huge issue. Every other day I'm hearing about people being harmed, children being harmed, women being kidnapped, children being trafficked. I feel that a lot of people are addicted to various substances that need help that have nowhere else to go which may have led to an increase in crime where they feel like their options are running out to get their next substance and I feel like this is choking out the system because we don't have enough counselors we don't have enough therapists we don't have enough people that specialize in mental issues 
to address those problems. I also feel that if you feel like you work so hard and you still cannot pay all your bills on time and you have to choose between eating or spending almost three to almost eight hundred dollars a month for, for prescriptions to live that is crazy to me these things are brought up in every single election and I guess I'm not supporting anyone right now because honestly several people on that stage are long-term congressional members that are currently in Congress and has not moved the needle to help provide for people suffering like people in my family or even people like me. I saw truths in what they said also about daycare in preschool in public education. Why in the world do you have a child and have to spend almost 60% of your income for daycare? For daycare people. Now, yes, if you're a mother, a father, been around children, yes, I mean, you have the basics. They need to eat, they need to be burped, they need to be fed, diaper change. Why should that cost? seven hundred dollars a week and that worker doing it is only making minimum wage where's that extra dividend actually going to I wholeheartedly agree that things need to change but the problem is you keep putting our issues in my face but our issues are not really being addressed and then you keep making a mockery of bringing them up conveniently when it's an election. But when we elect you, you're not actually implementing it. Our Congress has spent over a year trying to impeach Trump. And I don't even care about the inner politics of that right now. I'm just trying to make a point. And my point is, I haven't seen any other substantial bill being passed that positively affect me while they're chasing after our president. And then for the Senate to turn around and say, oh yeah, we'll get the bill when we get it and we'll call a few people and we'll just dismiss the charges. So basically, a year was wasted even investigating this. This is the only point I'm trying to make about that as far as other things not being addressed. So I'm not trying to start a political fight here. And like I said, this topic for me is basically to say, Dear politicians, as a working mother, that remembers having to catch three buses to get to work. That remembers having to struggle for daycare. That is trying to attempt to take care of a household on her own. Look at facts. Stop trying to scare us with all these different things going on. You know, I agree with some things you said. Is climate change real? Yeah. <laughs> but let's stop using people in speeches for debate to get elected and you turn around and get elected and don't do nothing. You spend over a year chasing after our president and like I said, this platform is not to stick up to him. It's just to address the fact that climate change 
should have been taken more seriously. Single parents needing help with daycare. People that are trying to work need help. People that are not out here just looking for a handout need assistance. People scared to allow their children to even go to a bus stop in fear that they might be um, violently shot at, kidnapped, put into child trafficking, whatever terms you want to use. We're tired of hearing it. Take action. I don't even care about the political party at this point. I don't. I speak for no one right now but myself. As a taxpayer and a person living in America. Stop trying to debate things and look for sympathy and you turn around and get in office and you're not doing much. Because that's all I've been seeing the last 30 plus years is nothing. Now, have you moved the needle on some things? Yes. But have you made a substantial movement? No. So stop going into politics promising me things you're not going to do. Stop trying to get me to sympathize that someone in office is willing to look out for me as a voter when you're not. And like I said, this goes out to any political party. At this point, I don't even care. The normal person working, be it with children, single or independent, you know, we're hurting out here. Farmers are hurting out here. People are missing. We spend so much on things that makes no sense. For once, let's try to look for health care for everybody. For once, let's do what we actually can try to do to curb violence. And not just with weapons. Let's do something to stop cyberbullying. Let's do something to help those people that have been missing. Let's do something to help those people that are struggling working three jobs to actually get somewhere. Let's try to help people that dream to do better and be better. Let's try to do things for people that want to cure diseases. Let's try to do better for people that are traumatized right now, been through a lot, and they cannot find assistance for their traumatic issues. Let's do that for once. Let's try to build something that people founded. In, I believe this country was founded in good intents to be free. But let's question ourselves, are we free? And I can go on and on because that's a huge list. Social issues. Criminal justice reform. You know, poverty. Homelessness. There are so many things we need to talk about that I feel like could never be addressed. So stop getting on stage telling me what you're going to do, but you get in Congress and don't do nothing. That's my concern. And I don't even care what party you're a part of. And this is not to endorse any person, party, or anything. And I'm making that clear right now. I am not endorsing anybody or anyone. What I'm saying is, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's put clear facts out there and stop spending things. And let's actually start to get stuff done. Before our country start burning like Australia where we can get like close to a million people off the street that are homeless and cannot afford to take care of themselves let's try to take care of people with mental illness let's try to curb our violence let's try to curb our hatred 
let's try to figure out why so many people are living with addiction, depression, traumatization. Let's get to those issues. Let's get to those hard issues that we don't actually seem to address at all or pretend to address and don't. And my parting thought is, again, I am in no way endorsing any political candidate, party. I don't care. All I want is to see things get done. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. Love all. Hope everybody is safe, warm. Let's try to spread love for 2020. Until the next episode, enjoy your evening.